Hey everyone, happy pre-St. Patrick's Day. Look who I'm with, superstar Sue Spargo, the wool and embellishing guru. Oh, thank you. Thank it's you for so being here. good to be here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, wow, so she has been here for almost two full weeks now. Are you tired of us? No, no. <laughs> She's such a trooper. I know how exhausting teaching can be and your students are just over the top. I was in class last week. I got to sit in a couple of days and let me tell you, I learned about five new stitches and that's all this brain can handle at one time. So I was like, okay, I'm good. She'll be back another time, but my five stitches I'm good with. So I don't know how anybody could absorb a lot no, more than that, yeah. but I think they're pretty tired. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's good. I always say just learn a few stitches and work with them for quite some time and then add another one. Yeah, so. but one good thing about you is that you have an Instagram page with lots of videos That's on, right? right? We do, with all the stitches. So it's on <clears throat> Instagram TV. Okay. And uh, there's lots of videos. So there if you don't stitches. know what Instagram TV is, mm -hmm. it's that little square with the little play button in. You hit that, right? That's right. Yeah, I learned that. Yeah, then it, the word series comes up. You press that and then embroidery tutorials come yeah. up. So and then, me and all of her students here, when we go home, we we will still have her because I, I'm going to not know how to do that Palestrinian stitch, even though mine turned out amazing. amazing. But I know when I get home, I'm not going to remember how to do it. But I got the video. So isn't that awesome? It's good. Right. Yes. Right, right. Yes. So what we're going to do here today is I'm going to visit with Sue a little bit. I have some questions for her that I thought of that might be fun. And then we're going to have her students come on for a little bit because she's working right now. So I don't want to keep her from her students too long. But isn't her work gorgeous behind us here? And just a quick little, um, what did I do with it? Oh, right cool. here in front of me. Okay. Here, you hold this up. Okay. All right. So this is the class that Sue's been teaching last week and this week. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk a little bit about it? Yeah. So we learning about all different threads, silk threads, rayons, wools, um, and then we're doing multiple stitches with those threads. And so we're doing some dimensional stitches, uh, you know, some just lots of stitches from my book, Creative Stitching. And the, every student's work is a little different. So it's sort of creative. They can do them in any um, form they want on the circles. And then we also learn to make yo-yos and little hexagons. I cheated. I had some already already yeah, made. That's good. <laughs> Yeah. It is just so fun just to just create and use what she teaches you anyhow you want. So you don't have to follow a pattern. You just have to learn the stitch and do what you want. So it's it's very creative and very fun. And if you think you have enough threads, I mean, like I, th I didn't think I needed any threads. Well, watch this. Okay. <laughs> What's all this stuff? Yeah. Lots of Look at this stuff that I'm going home with, right? So you are in for a treat to learn all about threads. If you get to take a class from Sue, we will be hooking up with Sue and carrying some of these things here at Primitive Gatherings. Look at this. What was this again? That was silk straw. Silk straw. I love that. That was fun. And these are velvets. Some more of that one. So I might have a couple dollars worth here. Yeah. <laughs> They're all laughing. They know, right? We know. But it was so fun to be able to buy some new things to play around with. Awesome. All right. So let's, oh, and this. I got some cork. Uh-huh. Yes, right. that's fun. That's fun to play with. I'm sure I uh, got never enough, but a good start. start. Yes, right? that's right. Yes. Okay. All right. So just tell them. Everybody likes to know how we got into this. So if you want okay. to give us a little bit of background, how, yeah. how it all started. Okay. So I grew up in South Africa mm -hmm. and um, all through my childhood, I sewed, knitted. Um, I actually did some piecing and then I moved to the U.S. when I was about 30 mm -hmm. and um, took up quilting. So I, would, I started with regular piecing, did lots of piecing. Uh, then did lots and lots of applique. And then about 23 years ago, I made my first little wool quilt. And that was it. 
You were hooked. I was hooked. Yeah. Wool is, so, just, there's just yeah. something yeah. about wool. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to do wool. I don't want to need another hobby. Yeah. They go hand in hand. And I don't think people who do patchwork fall as hard for people who do wool. If, yeah. And once you find wool, you are in. Yes. Right? Yeah. You get hooked. That's right. And yeah. my first wool quilt, um, I combined actually wool and a few cave fabrics very mm -hmm. early on. And I had people say, well, you can't put wool and cotton together. So you can, you do, can anything do what you, you want, want. Yep. exactly. Yep. Um, and then I, I had never embroidered as a child. So I only started really embroidering about 12 years ago. But once I started the embroidery and um, started adding it to my images, I just, it, I could just got so excited because it changes the whole feel. Right. The possibilities something. are yeah. endless. And you can do a little or you can you do, do a, lot. a lot. We yeah. call it Sue Spargo ish. I Sue Spargoed my, my, my apple case. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call it around uh, here now. So, yeah. Yeah. So it's just fun. And then, of course, as you said, it's all the wonderful threads and yarns that you have now that are irresistible. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Tell us something that you might do differently than everybody else. Gosh, I thought about that quite a lot. But I think the one thing that I think, I never put sashings on my On books. your quilts. Okay. Never, never. That's awesome. And I think it's because um, I always think of my quilts as a whole story. Mm -hmm. And so it's a story quilt, so it's more a pictorial You don't want it to, thing. like, have commercials. Yes. Those, yeah, the the sashings would be commercials. That's right. Yeah, I just thought of that. That's pretty clever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So it all just sort of flows together. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So what is your go-to snack when you're stitching? You know, I don't really snack. You're not a snacker? I'm not a snacker. That's good. I try not to do that. But um, Okay. But if you I had guess to pick in the one. evening, if it was, um, I'd have a glass of wine with cheese and crackers. That's a snack. Yeah. That's a good yeah. snack. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh -huh. All right. So name five things you can't live without. All right. Well, I can't live without my needle roll with all my needles. It's I pretty fantastic. The needles, yep. yeah. There's also um, a little ceramic ma uh, magnetic needle keeper that I always have on my desk that you just put the needles in and it mm -hmm. sort of spreads and something. Like a one needle of minder? Each. Like yeah. mag okay. um, my wool punches. Okay. So we can punch circles. Um, let's see what else. Um, Hmm. That's okay. Maybe I, I use quite a few weaving looms now, so okay. I like to introduce that. So yeah, that would be good. Yeah. And um, oh, maybe my lap app. I oh. love my lap app, and then my stacking baskets. A my lap thread. app. Yes. Okay. So what? Tell us what that is. Is so it a device? Is it's it... yeah. It's a little wooden. Um, Table, table. I guess yeah. Is there the padding underneath it. Yeah, you can put a mat on. But why I like it is that I do a lot of stitching, and then generally your arms are in the yeah. air. This way you can rest your arms on yeah, it. Yeah, I, I tend to use like a stitching pillow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that um, yeah, so it's just less tension on your arms mm -hmm. when you stitch. You did good. That was awesome. Okay. I did send her this in the morning. I'm like, hey, I think I might send you these questions <laughs> so I don't freak you out while I'm asking you these. All right, what's on your bucket list? To go to India. India. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. So, like, really, just for a safari, or yeah, just for, just for the color. Not safari. I want to go um, to experience the sand color and the color, the and colors of all the fabrics. Any particular and, city? Um, no, definitely in the areas where there's more handicrafts. Okay. I would love that. Yeah, all right. that's on my bucket list. All right. What was the last new thing you tried? Um, so I just tried uh, making Yorkshire buttons. Yorkshire buttons. buttons, yes. Okay. So those we Is do a like, lot of dorset buttons and things yeah. like that. They these are um, more um, you weave them more like you would weave a, a whipped woven circle, okay. but you do it over a template, and then they, you stop them. So we use them in my cactus class. All right, everybody's so been new, googling that, yes, right? Yorkshire buttons. Yorkshire buttons. <laughs> Tell us what you do for fun. Yeah, I do a Besides lot of stitching. stitching. Yeah. I like to garden. Okay. Um, Pretty soon, right? Yes, yeah. In Ohio, it's are things starting to come May, up? After, yeah, just a little bit. But okay, not May, here, Mother's right? Day, yeah. Not here. Mother's Day is when we would plant. So, okay. Yeah, I love perennial garden, my perennial garden. and All right. So, so yeah. this is kind of the same thing, but what are you currently obsessed with? 
um, when it, yeah, when it comes to stitching, I'm obsessed with right now with just free form stitching. Okay. Just, like just, just not a plan. Yeah. Just doing sort of. And you do that while you're teaching class when they don't have any students up there. I see you just winging <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And I have and some I think you pieces use that. that I call move the needle and we te I teach a class, but you, you basically just filling it with meandering stitch. And then like when sometimes when students need help, you just work right on their piece I you're do. working on. I yeah. Do. I yeah. think yeah. that's I amazing. That a long time yeah. ago. Otherwise I waste a lot of extra stitches. stitching so, right. so those she, become samples for totally, my classes and... uh yeah totally uses her time very wisely so <laughs> tell everybody who's listening where they can find you okay so we i have a website susbaga.com um, we have a lot of different um sewing all sorts of things fabrics everything eclectic gift items um we're i'm located in ohio so in green just south of akron about an hour south of cleveland um so i do do some classes from home as well uh, but i travel a lot and teach as well um yeah so and they can find your instagram. schedule where you're going to be next yes it's on our my website and mm -hmm. we use instagram a lot to yeah. post so um my, it's just my name facebook too or no yeah we okay. link it to facebook yeah mm -hmm. as well yes yes all right yeah well thank you so much oh. for taking time out i really well, thank appreciate you it. i love it's that you're so here fun. yeah yeah, yeah but and hopefully Lisa we'll has, come back yeah and she has the most amazing place here um it really is really beautifully done well we hope you're comfortable pleasure. because we knew you're going to be here for two weeks yeah. and the girls did their best to make your your room your home oh they did yeah. yes yeah. it's lovely thank all you right. thank take you. care hon all right all right thank back you. to teaching it is for her all right well, okay. thank you yeah you can <laughs> okay. take that with you I, did, okay. I just snagged it off your board all right so now we're going to hear from some of her students you want me to go this way that'd be good all right so name where you're from i'm mary lou from um southern minnesota okay did and i say that did, no you know what i'm talking about <laughs> no i didn't say but when no. you go somewhere else people pick up on that right yes. and they have to point it out that our yeah. o's are long yeah yeah you worse than me but <laughs> only Am because I? yeah was minnesota's worse than okay wisconsin i think but then the up is even worse and okay. canada right <laughs> i don't I mean know. worse i mean we get harassed about it but well we get harassed more about our yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. but you get harassed more about your minnesota vikings no <laughs> i don't know anything about them it's okay we're not gonna go there <laughs> no i don't want to talk football at no i know oh, minnesota and wisconsin are pretty yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. all right so what part of minnesota again southern minnesota southern. By rochester okay Mayo clinic all right yes. everybody knows where that is around here i think so yeah well, okay i'm just so excited to be here yeah this is my very first retreat ever ever wow ever. <laughs> you're and ruined from here yeah, on yeah, yeah well yeah, this yeah. has been just you can come back though again and yeah again and again. well i would like to because this Good. has been fabulous Good. fabulous place here and we are learning so much from sue that here i'll hold that up so they can see your work embroidery is just went crazy here it's it's, it's just so addicting right well because you're learning so many things you didn't even know you didn't know right right exactly yes. and yes. sue's book i brought my books yes. oh, i just threw it out of it that's all right. um i brought sue's book here so yeah she yes. has a wonderful guide uh for her stitching yes all right and i mean just amazing 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 photos and, and she's very patient yep and she teaches very well and it's been very fun so um, fun. Well, thank you for sharing. Well, I appreciate thank you. it. Okay. okay. So you're going to hear from all the people who are not shy. I don't Miss know about that. I'm shy. <laughs> but I told them, don't, don't be nervous. Right. 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 Because these are all of our friends and they exactly. just want to know and what's I'm going usually, on. I'm on the other side usually. You get it, right? yes. Yes. All right. So I'm Carol Berry from Dover, New Hampshire, mm -hmm. which is the seacoast area of New Hampshire. Okay. Yeah. And that's a long way to come for a retreat. We, yes, there's three of us that flew. All right. And this is my two, this is my first retreat ever. So I am definitely spoiled. And Carol was <laughs> announcing on Facebook that she's coming and then she was posting some of the things she's working on. I'm like, I can't wait to meet you. <laughs> exactly. Because, exactly. because Carol is one of them, but, but I want you to tell them 
about how long you've been quilting and that little thing you told me last night when we were hanging out. Well, quilting, uh, I've made one quilt in my life, hope to just one. Um, I started doing wool applique um, two and a half years ago. I discovered you and Sue both probably about a year and a half ago. So this is yeah, the uh, first block for Fresh Cut Garden. And uh, I, I spargoized it. Yes. <laughs> Kaylee, if you can get really close as you can with this one, because she really embellished this. I, I had a lot of fun. I, there's no blanket stitches in this. <laughs> so I had fun doing it. So now this will inspire um, people that, you know, you do what you can. You, you All of us are at different learning levels. And mm -hmm. it's okay no matter where you are because right. it is a, it's a journey. And I've, I've only been doing it for two and a half years. Right. And I've so see I've what you can so do much. in two and a half years. I've learned a lot. Right. It's not rocket science, I tell people. You just have to be patient and just mm -hmm. listen and watch and be interested and you can master this. Yep. Yeah, and Definitely. don't you love her background? Yeah, it's linen. Yeah. So I, is it I like, the enjoy... is it the Essex yes. linen? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. We we just got some of that into the store. Vicky oh, really? was just showing me some oh, of good. it. Yeah. Oh, good. Maybe I'll have to stop by <laughs> yes. and get some more. All right, okay. Carol. Thanks for Thank showing you. that. It's awesome. Did you? Where is your other little thing you showed me? Oh, it's in. It's All in right. My well, room. come back around and show that quick. I think you should show that too. Okay. Sure. All right. Thank you. <laughs> She's no beginner. Okay. She's no beginner. All right. Who's Hello. next? Hi, Lisa. I'm so glad to be here. My name is Sharon, and I'm from South Road, Maine. Awesome. Are you with Carol? I am with Carol. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Ro, um, you must be super close. Yeah. I mean, as far as you're in two different states, though. Well, but it takes me 15 minutes to get to her <laughs> house. Right, because of those little states, <laughs> yes. So look at this. You're doing great. So Sue has inspired us, and we've learned turkey work, which is this fuzzy stuff. And we yeah. learned the fly stitch and the oyster stitch, all kinds of stitches. All those amazing threads too, right? Ooh, and this lot, is like ruching. That's like ruching, yeah. yeah. We just did that this morning with the hexi. And that's a hexi flower. Very cool. So she's really taught us well, and we have a lot more to learn. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming on and sharing yeah. everything. Okay, okay thank Sharon? you, Lisa. You're welcome. Uh-oh, you're in for a treat here. What background do I use? I don't know. How about purple? Purple. <laughs> so this is my fresh cut flower, and it's my black one. I just put it together last night because I'm doing Sue Spargo, and I don't have a lot of time because I'm so busy with the turkey work. <laughs> it's a lot. So Tell um, us your name. Jill. Jill. I'm Jill. I'm from Green Bay. I'm a local girl. She's a local. So she, you driving back and forth? I am. Okay. Yeah not that far no so this is my background isn't it great and i don't know if you can tell but it is a light lavender it's just beautiful and i was so excited when i she's like do you think this will work i'm like oh heck yeah that'll work <laughs> yeah yeah it's gorgeous and if we ever put a piece of wool on here that that's color she's just gonna swap it out with something else mm -hmm. right yeah awesome so, thank you all right thank you all right, Carol's back. You got to see this. Which one do you want? All of them. Oh, God. Okay, okay, quick. All right. All right, quick. You can hold that. So this is toweling, Miss Vicky. I'm, I'm like, what do we have in the shop for toweling? Because you should see what I saw last night. Okay. <laughs> so explain what so you're doing. So I'm doing a stitching journal. So the idea is once you're going to stitch, I have a block for each day of the month. This is January. So the, the hope is you're going to stitch every day something. When I started this, I did, um, I was trying to do something that happened during the day. So there's different various things. And then February came along and it's hearts. <laughs> Isn't so. this so creative? So that was fun. That We're was really, that was fun to do. So, and, um, and this is Mar March. Mar Mar March doesn't have, <laughs> I'm way behind on March. She's been doing other things. Yeah, I've been right? doing other things. So I'm going to be stitching these all together and hanging them in my house. Awesome, so so, so thank awesome, you. Thank you. I love it. Now this next one's pretty cool too. All right, yeah, if you girls wanna just pop behind us, so we can just, yeah. Can somebody else help hold and you come sit by us? You come sit by me. This is huge. All right, come sit, there you go. 
You can flop it over the back too, so they can really see it. Put it this way. There we go. All right. Hi. Hi. Tell them who you are. Huh? Um, my name's Lana, and I'm from right in the middle of the United States in central Nebraska. And I have had the privilege of coming to the Primitive Gatherings shop. This is my second trip, but the first time at this beautiful place. Aww. And everybody's been so gracious. We've gotten so many wonderful things and people are kind and the food is great and wow. you really are pampered. We just appreciate that you guys come here. So we want to make you feel welcome oh, and we appreciate it. And yeah, so yeah. that's, we try to take, we, we want to do what we would like. Yeah. So well, you've definitely done that. Good. This so is tell a, us about this. Well, this is called Clara stars and this is, I brought it because it's one of Lisa's and it was a summer block of the week a few years back and you got packets of fabric in the mail and then you made major blocks and you could either do it um, uh, regular piecing or English paper piecing. So this is really my first big project of English paper piecing. So yeah, yeah so English paper piecing quick. all by hand. Yeah. Just amazing, isn't it? And this is a recreation of one of my antique quilts. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. It's yeah. fun to do. It's addictive and it's very portable. So I like that. And this is such an accomplishment to yeah, get. I haven't you. seen many of them done. Maybe well, it's less not my than this many. This list when I get home. Yeah. And I am going to add a border. I'm yeah. doing a. So you're going to hand applique it down? Yes. And on the, this one, we'll just have the regular. I have a dye board floral that I bought. And on the edges, I'm bringing it out to the side with a. Um, Max and Louise stripe us. Uh, it's a stripe, but it's solid on solid. Okay. So yeah, it's awesome. fun. I'm glad. Well, to, I'll be glad to get it. I had to talk her. She's like, oh, I'm not going to share that, am I? I'm like, oh yes, you are. It doesn't <laughs> yeah, have to just you. be about wool. It's hand stitching. Thank you. And Sue's been so gracious. It's yes. really been fun to learn from her. But after doing a few stitches, it's like your mind is a little boggled, and you just need to settle. Yeah, so, yeah, that's yeah, good. And we all process differently. Yeah. So. All right. That's Thank wonderful. you for sharing that. I appreciate it. Thank you very it. much. You're Thanks welcome. for having me. Good. One more only? Yep. <laughs> Chickens. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. Tell us who you are, hon. Kirsten from Racine, Wisconsin. Kirsten. Yes. Pretty name. Thank you. Pretty name. All right. What do you got there? I was um, doing the Sue Sparkle horse for the trees, and this is a cover for my work bag. So even though you know how to do all this, you're still here to learn more, aren't you? Yeah, and it's like I've forgotten how to do that in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> and Sue's a wonderful teacher, and I was thrilled to find out, thanks to Sharon from Maine who posted about it oh. on, I think it was Facebook, in the group I'm in on Facebook. She said, Sue Sparkle's coming, and I was like, oh, I got to go. <laughs> right, this close? Yeah, so you're about an hour away, Racine, maybe two. Hour two hours? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And by the time I heard about it, all the rooms were full. So I'm driving to Appleton every Aww. night to stay. <laughs> yeah, we only have 10 rooms with 25 beds. So yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's the only downfall. We couldn't make it. Yes. Yes. As, you know, like a hotel. Yeah. But I have been enjoying everything here. The facility good. is wonderful. The food's great. And I just can't say enough good things. About awesome. Food. Well, thanks so, for sharing. We sure appreciate you. it. Okay. Appreciate it. Awesome. Isn't that wonderful to see their work? I just get so inspired by that. And I forgot to mention that we are giving away prizes today. So make sure you do do your commenting. Heidi over there on Price Patrol is at it. So we still have a lot more for you. So go take a drink of something. Hang on. We're going to call in Miss Gloria. Hi, Denise. When did you come in? Okay. All right. Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. We have an audience. It's cool. I know. We have a... Hi, Gloria. Can we hear from the studio audience, please? Yay. That was from you. Yeah. yeah. There's probably 30 or 40 people in this room. It's kind of crazy. I'm not used to uh, be... You know what's funny? I'm not nervous at all. Like, my heart's not doing that pitter-patter thing. Like uh, well, it shouldn't like, now. Nah. These women are crazy, just so you know. <gasps> we love crazy. They make me jump out of bed every morning to come in here. Okay. Okay, I was supposed to go fast. Yes, fast. Tisket a tasket. Full. Woo! What was that, like two days? Well, maybe. Oh. No, I mean, you filled it in two oh, days. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I, we're still taking names because this class is only for eight people at a time, and I keep it small so everybody gets full attention. 
and um, I'm going away out of town on a cruise for three weeks. Yeah. And um, when I get back in May, I'll call everybody and we'll reschedule. We have plenty of forms. So. Oh, the people that are on the waiting list? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, next week, we have a call full of our clubs again. Okay. So, so it's stitch, Sit and Stitch and Hexy and uh -huh. Wolf Clubs. Every and day we got something going on. All right. And we have also guests coming in from Illinois, Minnesota, Minnesota, Iowa, and Tennessee. They're all coming in. And today I'm excited because I talked to a knitting instructor that's going to be coming here. Yes. She's been knitting for 40 some years, so I'm wow. glad to get with her. I also all kinds of all kinds of art going on here. Not you know anything that's creative we have here. She says to me, "We are not selling yarn," and I said, "Never say never." But no, we're not. We we're don't not sell yarn. We don't sell yarn. Most knitters have enough yarn to. Yeah, <laughs> like our fabric. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, I sent an email to Kathy Schmitz and Bonnie Sullivan. Okay. They're sisters, so we're trying to get them here together for a whole week retreat. And I wanted to tell all of you to watch for our purge and splurge. This is a, a huge event. It's fun, and you get really great deals. So there'll be that'll be posted on Facebook. Uh, it's June second and third. And just so you know what's coming up, uh, we I talked to Katie Puckett in Jacksonville, Florida, and she's coming here in September for a rug camp. And wait till you see what she's teaching. It's an awesome. You're going to hold them in suspense? or you gonna No, I'm telling them. Okay. <laughs> it's an awesome pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin. We love and pumpkin. he's on a spool. Oh, okay. And he has a so zipper mouth. Yes. Oh. He has a zipper mouth and he has cool snap eyes. He's awesome. Okay. So we got her booked and then Sherry next door and I are doing a basket gathering in August, a whole week of basket making. So okay. we'll have that out there too. Awesome. And I'm supposed to go fast because yeah. you got lots of people. We got lots to do today. Bye. Thank Come you. Come see Gloria. us. Yes. Please call Gloria. I'm glad you feel if better. You yeah. Uh oh, now you told him I was sick. <laughs> yeah, I did. So I spent Saturday night in the emergency room with a kidney stone. I thought I was going to die. Huh? Yeah. And everybody's like, did you pass it? Did you pass it? I'm like, I don't know. I feel better. So that's all that matters. Okay. Uh, Miss Vicky, let's talk about all your stuff. I have no notes. Okay. You have no notes? Let's start with the things you brought. Okay. Okay. So... Y'all, everyone. Y'all know Miss Vicky's in the store, so she has pulled together some things for us to talk about. Now, any if you want any of these things, and mm -hmm. at the last minute, I realized we never talked about any of our St. Patrick's Day stuff. And I'm part Irish, <laughs> so we totally dropped the ball. All right, <laughs> Irish totally, English. totally, totally, yeah. totally. We need one of those uh, creative managers that manages us all. <laughs> We're creative. Uh, I know, but you know, somebody who's really got their T's crossed. So we're going to show you some of our St. Patrick's Day stuff. Some green things. And even though it's tomorrow, there's always next year. It comes every year. Yeah. So if you like any of the things we show today, it's on our Live with Lisa button. You can find it there or anywhere else or whatever. On the floor. On the floor, on the floor. in the shop. On the floor. All right. This is Dogwood Days. It's absolutely stunning. And you can even learn to do your crosshatch. Machine quilting, quilting on yeah. your own machine. You can learn to do your curved binding on the back. Practice, practice. Well, uh, we do have kits of this. The kit in the pattern is 4620. Beautiful. You want to do that one next? Yep. Okay. I'll hold you talk. All right. This is lovely. This is probably one of the most popular ones that we've had in the past. And I think I've seen this. You, we do this in, don't we do this in yep. red? Like they can trainers. see two colors. Okay, blue good. And blue and white. And this is called, it's called Light or Dark. It's hydrangeas in the sunshine. Uh, we have the pattern itself, or the kit in the pattern is $79. And these are real easy to put together here. All you do is Lisa's got it where you just, at the indentations, you just cross your thread and then you put a knot in the middle. Yep, no so blanket you're not stitching over, around no, the whole edge. You're not overwhelmed with all that. Nice big clunky thread. Yeah. All right, well, you got these. Oh. 
These are the pastel wools that they work so hard on um, over dyeing and so forth. We have them in plaids and then we have them in beautiful colors. We have tons of pretty brights as well. So they're all there for you and you can come choose. Each packet is $15. We have every color under the rainbow. If you're not into pastels and you want to get started on your falls or your Christmas, we have those as well too. So these are called pastel and pastel textures. That's what those are for. All right, so let's show okay. them this quilt here. Okay. This is uh, this is called Little Lights, and this was made by one of uh, my employees, Julie, or our employee. What am I saying? My employee, one of my girls, you Julie. Call yours. Yeah, uh, it's beautiful and has every color under the rainbow. Right now, we have it hanging with all of the bunnies and everything springy. We do have uh, kits of these available as well. And they are at $120. So what is this fabric? This is the uh, shock cotton like. Yep. Shock cotton. So shock yeah. cottons. Yeah, we have them all, all bundled up for you. So we have these ready. And the girls in shipping are ready. They have the kits in the back. So if you call, they're ready to get them shipped out to you. Cool. All right. All right. Now it's time for the St. Patrick's Day stuff, huh? Your lucky, lucky leprechaun. Yep. Gnome shenanigans. Oh, yeah. Gnome, not a leprechaun. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to keep him in the right family. Lisa came down one day and she goes, all the gnomes we have, how many do we have? I go, like, what a do lot. I need to work what on? do I need to work on? And you still haven't made them yet. But anyway, I know. I, I'm I know. working on them. All right. So we have St. Patrick's Day. And these are all boys on here. Yep. The summer one had a girl or the winter one had a girl. She had, yeah, she had, she had braids. She had braids. So this one is totally beginner, right? Yes. Two threads, easy. Yes. And tell me the story you just told me today. Oh my God, I felt like such an idiot. I go in the store and here's this little shamrock up here and it's got 17 on it. I go, what does 17 mean? Is it a racing car number? Is it Lisa's birthday? I go, oh, it's St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> the 17th. So that was the one that, that made me giggle myself. Here, I'm doing this one next. Okay, you do that one. All right, I this love is that called one. Loads of Luck. If any of you have traveled here, you know we have a gorgeous truck 1947. Mm, two years it would have been my birthday. Uh, you know. But it's black like this, and it, uh, it accompanies Christmas trees and pumpkins and bells of hay. Quilts sometimes yep. in good weather. Yep. And this one is hauling away the shamrocks. So this is very cute, too. We do have kits and patterns for all these. Oh, there's that one. This is our lucky little blessings leprechaun hat. And these are really great. Isn't that cute on that? Yeah, you gotta you gotta yeah. plan on cutting that out and saving it. Yeah. And then these are um, great to go on the wooden holders that Scotty makes. Or the clipboards. Or clipboards. any if yeah, you have any anything. old fashioned yeah. clipboards. And remember Scotty is Still taking old. a vacation right now. He wouldn't call it I don't it think that, I'd but... call it a vacation. <laughs> but he'll be back. He'll be back. Yep. Want to do okay. your... Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we backwards? No. No. Kiss me. <laughs> These look so good on a bed. Yeah. Cute, yeah. cute. Again, surprise your honey. Easy. Make him have him on the bed at the night when you go. Honey, I get I made really you. jealous that I don't have any of this stuff at my house. I know. <laughs> well, you have to make a new set. See? No, I'm, I'm too lazy. <laughs> Kiss me. This one wouldn't be too hard to do, though. Right. All right. And then this one is so cute. This one, again, is called Irish Chain. And this is the smallest Irish chain I've ever seen in my life. And then she's put the shamrocks in the middle. And this kitten pattern is $24.90. And she can also do the quilting on it, too. Did yeah. you do the quilting no, on No. Linda, Linda did. did. Linda did it. It's very yeah, cute. She did it for Looks me. Looks cute on a table or also on the clipboards or... Or on you know, your mini wall. Yeah, anywhere you want to put it. Very ador adorable. All right, one more last thing for mm -hmm. Shamrock Day. This is uh, You Are My Lucky Charm. Is yeah. That what you called it? I think Lucky this Charm. is probably the most popular one right now. Everybody loves this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's very cute. Again, easy. Mm -hmm. And you all know we have a series of this size that go on the board that Scotty made. Yeah. I couldn't find one, though. I was like, <laughs> well, I, I, as have you been selling them all? No. <laughs> Lisa told me that while Scotty's Don't gone, we have to put NFS on the back of every one Don't of them on the sales floor. I can't sell them. Oh, we forgot these. Oh, yeah. These are cute. Well, now, let me tell you what happened with these. 
this morning Jess comes down and she's looking for these, right? And I go, oh my gosh, we have them already because um, Adrian found them yesterday. And she goes, look at these cute little thing. And we got the patterns out and so forth. But these are called Signs of Spring. And we have a bunny in the flowers and then two different flowers. And guess what? Your crow. My crow. Here's crows. These are adorable. These are the kitten pattern of 2320. And again, they go on these adorable boards. Now, some of these, I do have some of these boards for sale. We have this size, I think yeah. you have. And yeah. smaller. Yeah. yeah, we have those. But these and are we, adorable. again, have several sets of these seasonal that can. Yeah. So you can replace them or that set could stay all, all the time. Okay. I think I'm done. All right. Thank we got to go fast. You got a lot to do. So come see us at the, at the store, and these girls over here um, are visiting us several times a day. I saw one in her jammy I love it. Yeah. at the shop. That I was fun. <laughs> but they're a great bunch of girls. Last week's girls were great, and it's, it's funny how you get different personalities, and everybody's fitting in very well and loving everything. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so very much, much, dear. Okay. Bye-bye. Awesome. Luke's not on today, so uh, we'll go fast. <laughs> All right, Jessica, come on on. Jessica has a really good surprise for you today. We all know that's physically impossible. So we have new mugs in. Let's see what we got here. As we all know, Mother's Day is coming up faster than we thought. I think it's like a month away or so. So, you know, Jessica loves to curate <laughs> boxes. So she had these mugs specially made. We tried to think of something that was very, uh, what I don't want to say neutral, but very everyday, very, you know, that anybody would love, whether they were a quilter or not. So what we've done is we've taken one of my favorite quilts, heirloom rose and we took the medallion off of that and placed it on the mugs and jessica has picked out these wonderful colors this is such a beautiful purple i'm looking at it on my screen and it does it looks really dark there it is not a dark purple at all but it's a really beautiful vibrant purple and how many colors do we have so we have three colors we have the pink the gray and the purple i just love the way the colors stand out in the flower yes yes all right, so how do they get these mugs and what are so their options? They are called Mother's Day mug boxes and they don't necessarily have to be for Mother's Day. We have two different stickers that are gonna go on the top of here. One will say Happy Mother's Day. The other one is just a, uh, a just because, you know, yeah. if you have somebody for a birthday, that kind of stuff, uh, we'll have that on here too. Okay. So we have four or five different ones, boxes right now. So this is for the mother or somebody that you think would love the coffee mug, but is not a stitcher. Okay. So there is a pound of caramels in this box. Perfect. Because we all know we love the caramels. Yes. Then we also have our modern fat quarter box. So you'll get six fat quarters of modern fabrics. You will get a little... Look at my nail polish. Works. <laughs> A little zipper pouch. There are four caramels in the zipper pouch. So if and you're on a diet, that's yeah, the one to get. That's the way to go. Because you should never, <laughs> ever, ever deprive yourself of any food group. Never. Caramel food group. Caramel either. food group. <laughs> and then it'll have a little zipper pull as well. Oh, that's a cute one. Yeah. And they'll be all random. They won't be exact, you know, these exact yep. fabrics, but they'll all be modern fabrics. Then we have our wool bundle, which ironically turned out almost just the like our mugs <laughs> when I did it. So you'll have the um, six wool bundle or six piece wool bundle, a Valdani thread, and then of course your zipper pouch with caramels and a zipper, zipper pull. pull. Okay. Everyone gets the four caramels, the zipper pouch and the zipper pull. Then we have the charm box and these are the charms that we make okay. so it won't necessarily be the green and the pink it could be a blue and a pink or a blue and a yellow but there'll be these two sizes which is a three and a half and a five inch charm and then your caramels and then last but not least we will have the reproduction fabric fat quarters 
which is six fabrics, just like the modern one. I love the zipper pull. The blue rotary cutter. Isn't that cute? So these are all available now. They are pre-ordered. They'll start to ship first, second week of April. And um, the boxes are all $56, except for the one with the caramels. And the one with the caramels is $40. All right. And we only have a limited number. Yep. So I think we ordered 75 of each mug, each Perfect. color. So once they're gone, they're gone. No more. They are only sold in these boxes right now. If we do sell out of them, we'll do another reorder and then we can. Yeah. And she'll be curating more boxes. And I'm, we love this design. So I could see us doing a couple more, a couple more colors and yeah. stuff like that. We so. just weren't sure how. Yeah. We want to see how it's going to go, but yep. it's a great gift for, uh, for you or for your person or your friend or your quilting friend, or you send the link to, to your son and maybe he will buy you that for Mother's Day. Sometimes that works yeah, yeah. <laughs> because he doesn't know what to get you. Right. Exactly. Okay. So she did a great job on those. You got anything else? I don't know. Any yet. questions on that? I haven't been looking at any of those comments, but are they from Sun Hill? Yes. Sunset yes, Hill. they are. Yep. There yep. are beautiful mugs. You know, that's that same size. I always say it just fits your lips just right. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be doing our Christmas one soon too. So yeah. Oh yeah. That comes up really fast, May. doesn't it? Yep. 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 Okay. Awesome. Jessica, clear that out of here. All right. I don't think I have too many. You can leave it there. Yep. I don't think I have too much more to talk about. But make sure you get those comments in. Does anybody, let's talk a little bit about comments before I show you a couple things that, that I'm doing. And uh, yeah, yeah. Anything? We're good? Awesome. That is super nice. All right. So I want to show you, I got up early today and I, want, I did something I haven't done for a long time. I hand applique my anchor. Needle turn applique. Remember, if you've seen my Facebook post, I had it all prepped and ready to go. So there that is. Now I just need to trim it down. It's going to go in the quilt I had all cut out. And I came here yesterday and was stitching a little bit. I got four rounds on everything. So I'm ready to put the triangles on the corner. That's these little corners here. So hopefully that'll be done in a day or two. We're just cruising along on these quilts that don't even have to be done for a long time. But I was super proud of the fact that I remembered how to hand applique. All right. Um, you gonna need to talk, honey? All right, you're making me nervous, like circling me like a... <laughs> <laughs> Wanna say hi to lady? Show me a new haircut? Show me knees. No, yeah. know that because I have holy jeans on. They're you got holy jeans side. on? They don't care. So guess what happened yesterday? I think we started charging your card for the wool box. So just because mm -hmm. I can, I'm going to give you a little peek, okay? All right. This is your sneak peek for being such an awesome customer and hanging around and being part of the wool box. So this is a little peek. I don't want to show you the whole block, but this is part of the block that you're going to be getting in about five or six days. They should start to ship on the 20th. Yeah, they're making them. They're making them right now. Yeah, we're ahead. It's good to be not so behind. I like it. All right. So there's your sneak peek. I have fitted all my threads in a nice little box here. So there's going to be lots of threads in this. I'm just warning you right now, your collection is going to increase. You might see some in there that you don't have yet. That's because I am done with number three already. Lisa, are those boxes available? <laughs> These boxes are not available. <laughs> I, we will try. We will try to get some well, of those. Place but actually shut down. Yeah, they, the well, place is no longer in business, I guess, that we got them from. All right, every time I always forget something, but I'm just trying to, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget anything, but I think we're good. Just need to pick some winners for our prizes. Heidi, you got prizes for me? What do you want to talk about? Tell them what season it is. Fishing season. Nick has like, I swear to God, 46 fishing poles, all restrung, all in a row. So you think we got thread issues? Actually, it was only 31. Oh, only 31. See, I wasn't far off, right? How many pairs of shoes you have? 
Who cares? Enough said. <laughs> right? Yeah. Got to got to spend your money on something. So I talked to Scotty Rockbass last night. So explain who Scotty Rockbass. Scotty Rockbass is. is Linda Hershka's husband. Hi, Linda. Uh, we talked and we have declared winter over. We are ready. We are, we are done. We're ready We're to done. go fishing. How are my Florida girls doing with winter in Wisconsin? <laughs> yeah. It's, oh, maybe yeah, Nick's bit. been plowing a lot. It looks like it's raining right now. So yeah. that's a good sign. A little bit of snow maybe. Rain is better than tonight, snow be because rain makes tulips pop up, bulbs. Makes fish bite too. Let me, let me read. You're going to read the winners? All right. So, Jessica, where are these mug boxes located? They are located either under new or in live with Lisa. All right, live with Lisa or new, you can purchase your Mother's Day or just because you want one box. I really like the purple one. The purple is gorgeous. Yeah. This one might be going home with me. Yeah, that was a good, just good call. Yeah, good job. But and I, really, I can't I believe really the detail it. of my stitching on here. It's amazing. So those of you who did this as the summer block of the week, you got to get yourself one of these because I'm sure if, if you entered that quilt in the show, I'm sure it got a ribbon because it's amazing. All right. First winner, Lorraine. Oh, what are we giving away? What are we? Here, right next to you. Oh. Four winners today. Four winners today. Lorraine Gaffney. Lorraine Gaffney. Yay. Come on, audience. Woo! And they have to get a hold of Heidi. Yep, Heidi at Primitive Gatherings. Yep. Our second winner is Ann Post. I love having a live studio audience. It's weird. I walked in here. I was like, "Why are all these people standing here?" And I looked at all the technology that's going on. Yeah. Remember when it just used their little yeah, iPad? Yeah, little iPad. Yeah. Uh, Cara. The Cara Boo comments. Yeah, B E U. Bow. 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 How do I only do the mug? Hey. Oh, how do you only pick one mug? Okay. Uh, Patty Nault. All right. So that's Everyone how it's done, knows. girls. There ain't nothing fancy, is it? Thank you for joining us today. We will see you next Thursday for sure. Look for some videos coming out. And make sure you like, subscribe, tell all your friends about us, and shop on that website as ours. And yes? Visit the blog. And visit the blog. Yeah. Because you win prizes on the blog as well. Don't forget, Shelly. Hey. Oh, yes, Good. Miss Shelly. We miss you. Yes. Get your butt back here. Hey, Shelly. Yeah. Everybody send some prayers for Miss Shelly. Hope you're doing well. Yep. All right. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you next time.